Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your mid-September general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with all of you. If it does, great. Thumbs up. If it doesn't, you know, I don't know. Check your other signs, you know, go somewhere else. It's all good. It's free. You know, you didn't waste any money. Okay, okay. All right, so let's get let's get it started. Okay, happy birthday, Virgos. First of all, you know, I like Virgos. My best relationship was with a Virgo guy. Um, you know, they could you can connect. Well, an Aquarius can connect with Virgo on that mental, intellectual level. And then, you know, all the other levels, levels to this. <laughs> Not really, but um, yeah. So I like Virgos. I I have not met a Virgo I did not like. I've been, that's a, you know what? That's crazy. I have not met a Virgo that I did not like. That men and women, men and women. So anyway, let's get started. Ooh, get a flipper. So I'm gonna pull two cards in four clusters and whatever your situation is, you try to pick it out, figure it out, help me help you, okay? Let's see what's going on. I feel like it's a lot of energy of release, trying to move on, trying to figure things out, looking back at what you've done and how you've operated, trying to figure out if that's what you want to do, you know, for the duration of your life. Some of, you know, some of you are making life altering decisions. We did have the two of wands pop out off camera. All right, what governs all four spreads is the ace of air, wow. It's pretty telling. So it's a new start and it's a victorious start by way of communication. Be assertive. Be be true. Be truthful. A new way, excuse me, a, a new new insight. A new way of thinking or how you feel needs to be communicated to another party. Point blank period. You can't keep masking this new start that comes by way of either new communication coming in to you or information or you needing to give that new information to someone or or some entity. Because this, this is general. This could be work too. You just feel different. So now you think different. All right. Let's see the nine of earth, the three of air. Yeah, some of you. <laughs> Jeez, it's just that I want to be single. Right, it's just that some of you want to be single. You have recently separated. Maybe some heartbreak. It probably was third party. Someone was still keeping options open. Um, someone also, I'm just okay. I heard someone just really found self worth. They just really stepped into their own self worth and just said, you know what? I'm done. Could be with an air sign or another Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, whatever. Let's see, the two of fire and yeah, the seven of fire. Didn't we just talk about that? Some of you just are at a crossroads. Um, at a crossroads in regards to what you've been working on, in regards to you working on yourself. Some of you have creative projects, the projects that you've been working on. You're half done, you're half finished. You're at a crossroads with that. You don't know how that's going to manifest for you. You're hoping that you have victory in that for whatever that looks like for you. Um, but a new start 
by way of um, a victorious new start by getting some type of communication um, that brings you to I gotta just show it to you the ultimate level of happiness the highest level the ten of ten of water so that's what's on the deck there um, but some of you are definitely at a crossroads and, and um, you're needing to communicate that or you're waiting for communication or you know someone you're dealing with maybe a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo is at a crossroads or you're at a crossroads with them you you're standing your ground in, in regards to how you what you want and what you feel and what you fought for some of you it was just like self-respect it's almost going back to finding your self-worth I don't know the four of air and the high priestess some of you are um, getting some real spiritual downloads at, at, at night um, through dreams, through meditation, through prayer. Some of you are doing your spell work, spell casting. Some of you, you have an inner knowing of you fill in the blank. Some of you are in separation from maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Piscean person, whomever. But you guys are still communicating telepathically or you're trying to. This person might be ignoring you or vice versa. The death card in the ace of earth. Nice. Complete, complete transformation. To where you can start something solid and new a uh, blessing from the heaven that is what you do with it is what you'll do with it you know opportunity comes what will you do with it it completely tr it can that whatever this ace of earth is or ace of pentacle is it can completely transform your life um what will you do with it Somebody just got a new job or whatever. It's 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 a requiring a lot out of you. It's it's changing you as a person. I think this is for the better. Some of you are going to put an ending to a way of making money, a business, a job, and then right after that ending is that new beginning. It's almost as if you knew you were walking into it anyhow. Let's get some clarifying cards. We've got our two cards that we know about. The Ace of Earth and the Ten of Water here. What is the Nine of Earth and the Three of Air? Seven of Air. Yeah. Someone is definitely keeping options open e either with Virgo or Virgo is doing this. And it's, it's something that they're planning behind them, their back. Or their spouse is back. They're planning to become single, or someone's doing this to you. Uh, in their mind, it might be that they have someone else. They're secret. They're making secret plans of escape, of of to be completely independent of single. This could be you, Virgo. This could be someone around you. Two of fire and seven of fire justice back to self-worth and self-respect some of you are at a crossroads in, rega in regards to dealing with maybe a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo who is just so unfair here and the only way you feel like you can bring balance here or get what is just and due to you and what you have been doing for this is fighting for it. What is the advice here? Okay. Eight of air, four of five. Some of you feel stuck in this relationship. You don't. You, 
it's, it's if you want departure but you feel tied to you don't see a way out with the eight of air of this relationship or you don't see yourself finding stability some of you feel like your creative pursuits had just not paid off for you you want to find you know you just figure you just find that it's just unfair it's unfair I'm as good as the next person eight of air yeah it's just like you can't because it hasn't manifested in your favor or some of you thinking negatively about this and it, it, it could go your way for fire here whatever this is that you've been working really hard toward can really bring in the balancing of the scales make sure you stay positive and remain positive and positive thinking because it can really bring about some um, really foundational energy something you've been working towards some of you it's almost as if you don't know if you should let go uh, it could be a relationship a job a creative pursuit but keep at it and remain positive the four of air and the high priestess king of water Ace of fire, five of water. Some of you are, are in separation, have been getting really strong downloads, are um, intuitively inclined. Yeah, some of you, it, a lot of this is like, like telepathic, spiritual magic. It could be some spell work here. Because all because you're sad about something or or you feel like you missed an opportunity or you, you're crying over or upset about something that didn't manifest in your favor so you or someone who won't do or, or won't go along with so you're trying to energetically pull them back some of you may be giving somebody the guilt or someone's giving you a guilt trip The sun, nice, this is nothing but positive. The death card and the ace of earth and the sun is just completely positive. This is a new job um, or a home move, whatever it may be. Uh, you've been working really hard at it. Eight of earth, you put a lot of time, effort into it. You're gonna get that home, it's gonna completely transform you. Maybe even take you to that singlehood that some of you are looking for uh, or this new job brings in a lot of stability positivity for you um it allows you to act swiftly on maybe some futuristic plans all right let's get some angel answers in here we're at 12 minutes all right jeez no need to worry the three of air seven of air and nine of earth no need to worry there for whatever reason, if that's you trying to plan a great escape, no need to worry. I guess you'll pull it off. Or if that's the other person, then maybe that's what you wanted to happen anyhow. What's going on here in this situation? Yes. So the answer is yes here. Looks like some of you uh, don't know if you have victory here. In regards to maybe some creative and some creative pursuits here and it says yes you've been working really hard at something or on something oh wow okay um for this situation if somebody's trying to energetically pull someone back in or or, or vice versa someone's trying to do this to you virgo It says there's something better for no, this nothing but positivity it says don't stop nice um, I'm pretty sure everybody wants to be this Virgo 
um, at the bottom of the deck within the next few weeks. So we have a timeline there, whatever within the next few weeks. Um, Virgo, it just looks like uh, some of you, it looks like all of you are working on something. Trying to have a new start by way of uh, communicating clearly, truth and clarity. All right, I'll take it. Moving, forgiveness, healing from the past. Welcome the new. If that's not beautiful, I don't know what it is. So, like I said, home move, job move. Some of you are moving and working on something really hard. You don't think it's coming through. It is. Do not stop. Uh, or you're moving away from someone uh, or, yeah, some job or some group of people. Forgiveness. This is what's hindering you. This will maybe what keeps you in the fire of water type of energy. Healing from the past. Pretty self-explanatory. Welcome the new. Newness is here for you and is here for the taking. Uh, Virgo, I hope that this reading helped you out, gave you a bit of clarity about what's going on with you. Uh, don't stop. There's something better. Yes, and don't worry. Um, it looks like there's a hodgepodge of energy, but at the same time, it looks like Virgo is working toward uh, moving forward, whatever that may look like for you, okay? Know that I'm praying for you, Virgo. Pray for me as well. Take advantage of the yes or no spread. Um, go over to the website, look around and see what's new on the book online page. Take advantage of the dating advice, the relationship counseling through Tarot. Um, yeah, thank you for tuning in and make sure you comment below because it can help not only, you know, does it, you know, help me know that this is working for you, but it can help one of your fellow Virgos out there. You could be going through the same issues. All right, so take care, guys. Bye.